Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Niners and the Chiefs, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. He can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. A run by Pacheco on second down, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Again, it's Pacheco. Takes it to about the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and just outside the 30. Pacheco gets it up done. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Mahomes now on first down. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And he will have the Chiefs first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Escapes the defender. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year as the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State. It's Brock Purdy. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. But they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season already getting his chance. And we harken back to Dan Marino. Another superstar made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and pick it up in McCaffrey. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. Waiting on it will be Richie James. Fielded at the 33. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over. They've got a 7 0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Motion man right is Rice. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line. Tackled there. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And just a simple tap pass, but it, it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with it or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well and it turned into a nice play. And from the 34, here's second and four. A handoff now for Pacheco. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Short throw held in by Kelsey. And he will have the Chiefs first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Mahomes going to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Chiefs first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And defensively, they were in zone covers there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange some. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. The offense on third down tonight, a perfect four for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the... And he's going to take it into the end 
end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way you can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. That is caught, and they work this well upfield across the 45. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Throwing here, Purdy. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people and bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, at this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 35. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. He's got Ayuk once again. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second down and four. Now Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. They go play action here. Purdy. Ayuk bringing it in on the crossing route here. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Here's Purdy. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. Purdy now on second down. That is caught by the tight end, Kettle. Touchdown, 49ers. Two yards on the touchdown there, and the Niners are on the board here in this Super Bowl.
What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Jake Moody now for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Isaiah Pacheco and the offense back out. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Here's second and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Well, that one caught by Rice. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes, eluding the pressure right. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. Now we all know that an offensive coordinator quarterback, <laughs> they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. Pacheco, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now Mahomes out to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Final shot before the half from Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Bunker's kick here is good. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman.
So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But there's ever a chance to regroup. It's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Purdy now to throw. This pass to Jennings, and he makes the catch. And this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here's James returning. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Yeah, every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Bust like that in just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up into the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And they're able to swarm him behind the line. And his rough night continues. Chris Jones that time coming in with a tackle behind the line. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And now third down and six to go. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. 
And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And that is incomplete here. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. On second down, McCaffrey. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Purdy with it on third and long. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through and was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, Parker. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held it, they might go for it again. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Pacheco once again. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 87 yards rushing for him now. A big part of why they lead in this Super Bowl. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And they'll run with Pacheco, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. The offense on third down tonight. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is third and four. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 31-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. This is Pacheco, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he is caught. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Chiefs are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. 
An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the math there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Butker now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. Fights through him. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Purdy. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 38-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So now first and 10 in Chiefs' territory at the 38. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Out of the gun, Purdy. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 21. A nice pickup of 17 yards. Play action, now Purdy. Touchdown for the Niners! Debo Samuel from 21 yards away. And the Niners have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. 
109 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this Super Bowl. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 30-yard line. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Throwing now is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. They'll run for it with Pacheco. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Well, San Francisco's offense returns to the field. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team is clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they'll have a short field to work with inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Mahomes going to throw it here. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chiefs are able to capitalize on the forced fumble by turning it into six points. If you're going to put quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits were on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. 
Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved the hand like, who cares? Let's get out here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And he's taken down a chief sack. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this is caught inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. The accomplishment, forever.